Now, to talk about this particular banjo or the history of it, my oldest friend is Myron Koenig, and he's still alive and well in Cincinnati, where I grew up. And uh, his first career was not as the stockbroker that he eventually wound up being, but rather as a guy who knew all about banjos, and he knew how to make them just by loving banjos, collecting them, being around them, and he got a job at the Baldwin Company, which had previously just made pianos. But in the 1960s, they started to try to cash in on the folk music boom, because banjos were becoming a hot item again on the market. So they bought out a company in Colorado that made pretty good banjos, and for about five or ten years he was the production manager for Baldwin Banjos. So to this day his basement is full of banjo parts and he uh, somehow equipped me with this banjo maybe back around 1970 and it's not all original it's, it's just completely like a, one of those cars that's made out of various parts of other cars this whole body here, which is quite fancy and is engraved with Western-style carvings, and which is actually gold-plated, but I think that kind of shabby, I need to clean it up, is made by the Ode Company out in Colorado. This neck, minus the decorations, which are mine, was made in Cincinnati by the Baldwin and Banjo Company. And the tailpiece is made by the Gibson Company, so it's just a total hybrid. But any real banjo picker would take two or three long looks at this and would sort of scratch his head and say, maybe I won't buy it, maybe I don't. But it's a good one. And one of the worst thing that happened to it along the way was that it got broken by falling not once but twice out of an airplane uh, case. I had it in the case in the airplane. And this whole thing here broke and the peg head was flopping around like that and twice I fixed it. The second time that I fixed it, I spent about two weeks doing nothing else and was able to make a piece of wood which absolutely conforms to what we need. And I'm glad I did because without that the thing was rather unplayable. It was also sad 